They were a complete fail for me, and I feel like this video needs to be made. What's up guys, Brad here from Piney Grove, and in today's video, we're gonna address a problem that most tractor owners have, and that's that they struggle hooking up their three-point hitch implements. On the Kubota L-Series, this is the L3901, but across the whole L-Series, and to include many other series of Kubota tractors, and also John Deere tractors and other makes out there, the manufacturer sends out their tractors with turnbuckles on their lower lift arms for three-point hitches. And those turnbuckles are very effective, they work very well, but in most cases, you don't have a lot of space in here, and they're hard to get to. In the case of the Kubota, you have a turnbuckle and you have two jam nuts. And both those jam nuts don't have enough room to get a wrench on. So you end up getting an adjustable wrench or the right size wrench. I never have the right size wrench with me to get in there and loosen up that turnbuckle. And if it's clean and if it's not bent, then you can adjust it outward and inward. But it does take some time. You got to kind of climb in here between the implement and the tractor and uh, sometimes they are just stuck and then you have to put a screwdriver in them or some sort of wrench to get them to turn. But today we're going to fix that problem. I've ordered the kit from Messix. It's a telescoping sway bar kit and it allows you to take off the turnbuckles that the tractor comes with. It's a direct bolt on application. It goes on here where the turnbuckle is and it allows you to quickly adjust your sway bars out and in. Okay, let's open this box and see what Neil from Messix sent us. Probably don't need that. We got two ends there. One telescoping bar, the second one. Now these bars, you can see that the holes, these holes will line up, but these holes don't. But when these holes line up, these don't. So that allows you to have a lot of adjustment in and out. First thing we're gonna do is take this box blade off. There's just nothing fun about taking off or putting on three point hitch implements. This box blade is pretty easy to take on and off, but still it wasn't fun but I'm hoping these telescoping sway bars make this process a little bit easier and a little less frustrating going forward. But if you like the video so far, please click that like button down below. I'm gonna save these because you never know. We got one side off. This side has a cotter pin right there. We'll have to take off. Got both of the OEM turnbuckles off. I've laid out the new telescoping stabilizer next to the old turnbuckle and all the hardware that comes with it. And what I found is there's some extra bolts that come with the hardware that you don't need to mount it, at least on this 2017 tractor. The instructions talk about making sure where this attaches to the tractor, that bracket has the right bolts in it, but these bolts are totally different size from the bolts on my tractor. But this is the end that attaches to the tractor. It attaches with this bolt and that nut, that's a jam nut or a lock nut. It's 14 millimeter, so I have a 14 millimeter combination wrench here and also a ratchet and a hinge handle or a breaker bar to get that tight. This pin here is the pin that you use for your adjustments, but it's got this little keeper pin. So you use this washer under this pin through this larger hole in this chain that will connect this side to this pin here or this hole here, and that'll get a cotter key. And then this end here is screwed directly into the end of your lift arm. First thing we're gonna do is put on the lift arm bracket. So it has this little piece of angle that goes over top and it has a locking nut that goes here on this side. And that is a 22 millimeter. So we'll just go ahead and tighten that one. We'll install this next bracket in the back and we'll take our bolt and we'll put our nut on this side so that it protects it. On this side, we'll put this pin through the top, put it through that keeper chain, stick that in there temporarily. Now it's installed, but not tightened. Now we put this cotter key up under here. That's a tough cotter pin. We'll show how this pin works here. And that sits there, and then you have a little bit of play in your sway arms in the event you don't want them real tight. If you want them real tight, you'll find the one that best lines up with your implement, and then you'll put it in there. Now we're not tight back here yet, 
So there's a little bit of play. That's 14 millimeter. I tightened it with a ratchet. I'm gonna go ahead and put a breaker bar for the rest of it. All right guys, the battery went out on my mic, so that's probably a good thing because I'm pretty frustrated right now. So I put the new telescoping stabilizer bars on and I backed up to the box blade and they would not allow the stabilizer bars to go wide enough to go outside of the pins and put the pins on the box blade. I had the tractor backed up perfectly. I've got some B-roll of that. Hopefully that's rolling now, but uh, I just couldn't get it wide enough. And that's because the stabilizers hold off farther from the tire than the turnbuckles that came with the tractor originally. And I was kind of suspicious of that. I actually watched Neil Messick put these on a tractor in a how-to video. And that was one of the thoughts in my mind was, is that gonna interfere with how wide I have to put my sway bars on some of my implements. Now this is just a normal box blade. It's not extra wide or anything as far as the pin set on it, but I do have a brush hog that is extra wide. And if these bars, if the telescoping sway bars wouldn't allow hook up to this implement, then there was no way it's gonna hook up to my brush hog. And I use that more than I use anything else. So anyway, I took off the brand new telescoping bars. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them. They were a complete fail for me. And I feel like this video needs to be made because I've seen those things installed on many tractors out there and no one talks about the fact that they won't go wide enough for some implements. I've got the original turnbuckles on here. I'm gonna back the tractor up and hook this up, but I'll bring the camera in here closer and show you how wide I can go with these original turnbuckles. So the clearance issue is right here. Those stabilizers are inch and a half, two inches wide and they contact the tire right about here, and these don't. These are narrower, so these will actually go out another inch or two more, and that's what's needed. You can see these are hitting the tire now. That's as wide as they can go, but this will fit every implement I have. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate how far out these stabilizers will go with the turnbuckle. That's how far out they'll go. They'll go well past the tread of the tire. Now, if the other stabilizers that I just took off or on, I'd say they'd be limited to about here if I'm guessing the width of the bracket. So let's say right there. So let's hold my finger right there and that's the difference. That's a good, that's a good two inch difference right here that these go wider with the OEM turnbuckles versus the OEM stabilizers that are Kubota factory stabilizers that I bought from Messix. I don't want to come across as bashing Messick or Neil Messick or anybody out there that's put these on there, but I am glad I made this video because that's a problem. That's a big problem for me, and it'd be a big problem if I, say, took my tractor somewhere to pick up an implement or do something like that, and I hadn't checked this first, and I got there and found out that I couldn't hook it up. So my advice is make sure if you switch to telescoping stabilizer arms or bars that your implements don't need that extra two inches of width in order to get your lift arms around and over your lift pins on your implements. All right, guys, a couple hours later, several hundred camera moves, and I'm right back to where I started. I've got the original turnbuckle stabilizer arms on there. The box blades hooked back up, and we're back to baseline, and we can go back to doing work out here at Piney Grove. Those are not cheap. I don't remember the exact cost, but I, I think it starts with a three. I think they were $300, or at least real close to that. So if you need a set, let me know. So hopefully you found today's video informative and maybe even enjoyable. If you did, click that like button down below. We'd really appreciate it. It would help out our channel. But otherwise, that's all I've got. So until next time, y'all take care out there, and remember, life is short, tractor hard.